So how do robot vacuum cleaners mop up muddy paw prints when they have spinning mop pads? I'm gonna explain this technology to you. So here we have the Roborock q Rebel Curb. We got the Dream L40 Ultra. Some of the latest robot vacuum cleaners that actually do a really good job of cleaning this mess up, but I'm gonna show you how they do it. So both of them have spinning mop pads and they can squirt some water and solution down onto the mop pad to keep it wet. They've got a built-in water tank. So now the next thing is, isn't it just going to smear the dirt when it's spinning? And the answer to that is yes, but in theory, the mop pad is thick and it's going to capture that dirt, okay? Now it may mop the rest of your house and you may get a little bit of smearing, but hopefully it's gonna capture it, take it deeper into the mop pad because it's wetting it and it won't smear it as much. Now, we are gonna get a little bit of smearing and it's not gonna mop it all at once, but what these newer models do is they have a built-in sensor. So when they come back, they're gonna put fresh water down here. They're gonna clean the mop pads. That's gonna take the dirt off the mop pad and then it sucks the water up into the dirty water tank. And before it gets to the dirty water tank, there's a sensor Now I can't show you, it's inside here. It's gonna say, is that water dirtier than normal? If so, go back and remop that area you just came from. It's really dirty. That's called a remopping event. And we can see the Dream, it washes the mop pads. They both wash them with hot water. So now, it washed the mop pads. It's gonna come back and remop this area. This mop pad now will be clean, and whatever smearing was there, it's going to be able to get the rest of it and capture. It's all about capturing the mud in the mop pad. That's how these robots with spinning mop pads work. They don't have a dirty water tank. They don't suck up the dirt, and in fact, the Dream has a camera on the front, and when it sees that there's like water on the floor, it stops the vacuum, lifts the side brush, and lifts the brush roller, and, va and mops only. So they really don't want the water going up, being sucked up into the vacuum. It's all about capturing, washing, and then drying the mop pads when it's all done, because if you don't dry these, they will have an odor to them, and then sucking everything up to a dirty water tank. Now the more expensive ones are gonna have more sensors like that camera, that sensor in the base station, that costs more money. Now the cheaper ones, simply just mop your floor once or twice, go back and wash the mop and it's done. They, don't, they will not do a re-mopping event if they sense that the water's dirty from washing these. And some base stations, they don't use hot water. Some don't use hot air to dry. So I have lots of videos explaining how all these work in detail. Now over here, there is a new technology that is just starting to emerge. This one actually has a dirty water tank. So this has a brush roller a that bed. will actually pick up the dirty water and the dirt and it gets scraped off into this dirty water tank. And then it empties the dirty water tank into dirty the dirt, into that. So this technology is advancing. Um, there's a lot that have spinning mop pads. As you can see, all of these have spinning mop pads, but they are starting to come out with these ones. They're starting to come out with these that have dirty water tanks. And again, it scrapes off, it, it brush, the brush roller will actually pick the dirt up and deposit it into here. And then when it's all done, it cleans the mop pad by, by spraying water on it and then scraping it off and then dumping it out. So newer technology, this is a great, this is the Eufy S1 Pro, $1,600. It is expensive. It doesn't do the best at vacuuming. It does okay, but it's mainly for mopping. So again, I really want to thank everybody for your support. I do use affiliate links either from Walmart, Amazon, or Shark Ninja. If you click on the links in my videos, the products won't cost you anymore, but I get a small commission from that sale. Uh, it is a way of helping support my channel. I love what I do. I love buying these products with my own money and giving you my honest opinion. Now, once in a while, uh, I may have a product sent to me for free. I will disclose that. I will let you know when a, a company sends that product to me for free, but 98% of the time, it's going to be buying it with my own money, giving you my completely honest review. And so if there is also another way of helping support my channel, justadadcoffee.com. When I first started out, I reviewed so many coffee makers um, that I, you know, I thought I would brand my own flavor of coffee, and I did. It's just a dad simple sip coffee. It's kind of like a medium to dark roast. It's brewed in the K-cup form, ground coffee, or whole bean. 
Um, I think it tastes really good. I brew mine hot or ice. This is what I drink, and I think it tastes really good. So I really would appreciate everybody's support with that. And this plaque I got right here, 100,000 subscribers would not be possible without the viewers and everybody liking and subscribing. So I really do appreciate this. This was an amazing day that happened about a year ago. Um, I'm quickly approaching 170,000. So thank you, everybody. Uh, this is all because of you. I hope I'm helping you. And that's the whole reason behind my videos is helping people. So there's a couple ways to communicate with me. I do have my own Just A Dad videos group page where you can join. I do free giveaways there. Now, it typically sometimes it may not be very big products. Those can be super expensive to ship, but we try to give away as much as we can on this. And I kind of post behind the scenes of how things are going and maybe what future videos are. But if you've got questions, this is a really good avenue to reach me. Um, I do try to look at it about two or three times a week. I also have an Instagram page now. That's my son, Shelton Automotive Group. He has his own auto dealership, but you can check out my Instagram. I do kind of behind the scenes, you know, there's a lot of, a lot of um, Miss Fiona and different things. So we have a lot of fun over on Instagram. I'm also on TikTok and I'm starting to do more condensed videos on TikTok. You know, they can't be super long, but and TikTok has its own TikTok shop. I'm just getting my feet wet in that. So if you want to follow me on TikTok, just to add videos, Hello everyone, this is Just a Dad. So I got some exciting news. I bought this old chiropractor building in my hometown and we're gonna be building a robot vacuum cleaner studio. Let's just take a quick peek here where it's under construction. I think it's gonna take another month or so, but man, I'm being super excited. We put a wall in here and this is where all of the robots are gonna be. There's gonna be a studio here. I'll have some soundproof ceiling in, some lights. But this is going to be super exciting. I can't wait. This is going to give me so much more room to deal with all of the robot vacuum cleaners. Over here, we're going to put a sink. We're going to put a sink so I can empty everything out. And I've got a little bit more patching to do. Back here is going to be some storage rooms. So we'll have some storage back here that we can do. But man, am I excited. This is awesome. So I want to thank everybody. None of this would be possible without you. I'll keep you up to date. So this area right here, this was an old sink. So this is where I'm gonna be putting, I don't know what I'm gonna put here. It'll, it'll be a sink of some sort, but I want it to be open so that I can connect to that plumbing. That's a drain line and a water line. I wanna put those, I'm gonna get the Dream X40 Ultra, the, the one that fills itself and empties itself out. I think Roborock has one too. So I think that's the future. That's why I'm excited about the studio is it has plumbing in some areas that I can connect to and show you exactly how to do that in the future. And there's also a place. There was a little sink right here also. So I got, I got, I got water lines. I put a plug in so that we can uh, put a plug our uh, robot in and there can be a little cubby hole for it. So, wow. And I don't, I need help with what type of flooring to install. I'm going to put some carpet in here. I'm also going to put some hardwood floor. I think I'm gonna put like a light gray and then I need probably a, a darker color so that we can see different, how it cleans different things. I probably won't put marble or anything. I probably should, but it's just super expensive. So anyway, if you got any ideas on flooring, let me know. Cause I'm, this is gonna be a studio that we can do testing in. And it's gonna be every day testing. Um, so if there's some kind of flooring that's the most popular or a color that you like, I'll put about three or four different flooring materials in here. That way you'll get to see it on various ones. So super excited about this. It's kind of a small building, but man, this is going to be awesome. we got a little kitchen we're going to do right here. We're going to put a sink right here. There was a water fountain right here. So we're going to put another robot here. This will clean the entire place. So very, very excited. This is going to be a big room. This is the old... This was an x-ray room right here. We took out an x-ray machine. It was super heavy. Had to do some repair work. This is, was the developer room. So this was an old chiropractor office. He had developer tanks. Uh, it was a dark room where he developed the x-rays. So it was really lots. We had to do lots and lots of cleaning out. This was kind of the, the waiting room. There's a window here. We're going to keep this. This was the receptionist area and all that. So. Yeah, looking forward to this. So thanks everybody. This is coming soon, 2025 for sure. 
And Miss Fiona loves to play in the leaves. You love being outside, don't you?